This golfer wasn't aware that she was playing a single plane setup with a single plane swing. But you can see from the setup angle, the yellow line transcribes a uh, line up the golf shaft and up the arms, exiting out through the top half of the back. That's a, that is a single plane setup. She's a little too upright perhaps. I'd like to see it closer to a 90 degree uh, line between the back or the spine and the yellow line, the blue line and the yellow line. But again, that's a matter of age and flexibility and all those other things going. Bad backs. She has kind of a, a bad back. So it's really not a bad setup. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and play this swing through at very slow speed. Our goal here is to see the club on a single point setup just stay on the yellow line back and through. If it stays on the line, uh, what you're looking at here basically is a circle tilted on its side. Imagine uh, the yellow line is just we're looking at a circle. We can't see the other side of the circle because it's blocked out by this side. So let's just start to swing at real slow speeds. Starts the club back, a little waggle there. There she goes, pretty much staying on the line. Look at the hinge right there on the line, very, very nice. A little bit above the line there, a little. But let's stop right here, back it up just a hair. Uh, what she's done is she still has the hands on the yellow line. Now I'd like to see the club shaft a little bit more on the yellow line, but it's okay as long as we drop that club shaft back down to that yellow line. But what's going to happen here is she's going to dive down because she's got this golf ball signal on her. She wants to hit the golf ball. That club is going to go down above the yellow line. Watch this. See how she's going way out now? Up and across and it exit way out below the yellow line. We, she's not on the circle, is she? Way out behind it. That's why the ball has a tendency for her to either be mishit or get off the toe, hold to the left, or a big slice out to the right. So we can just get her to stay on that imaginary circle down and through instead of over the top. If she would swing down this way, She'd be dead on the plane. A little over the top. I don't mind the squatting, the drop, and all that. That's not bad. She's facing the ball at impact, which you're supposed to do in the, in the single plane swing. Spine's on the right line. All this stuff is good, except she's forcing the club to get off the plane. We need to work with the plane angle. 